Her Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. Oh God, you okay? <laughs> we shouldn't be using our goddamn names. Hey, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. Hey. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you. God over damn there, it. In, near the house. There is. Okay. Thanks, Abe. Oh God damn it. Who has a message for Jim? The name I literally made up. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Oh, God. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. Stop. I'll be damned. Oh, hell yes. Let's get back out. Speak to Abigail. Why are we speaking to her? <laughs> you know how this is going to go. <laughs> Listen, Abigail. I got Abigail. a plan. But we need money. <laughs> oh, great. She ran off. Really? Oh, hell no. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but oh, it God. don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Oh, God. I actually don't remember their circumstances at the beginning of Red Dead 1. I think he gets picked up by the FBI and they already have his wife and child, but I don't know if he was with... I can't remember if he was already with them or not. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Uh. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work. <sighs> Jesus. So much for trusting me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. Goddamn bull almost got me. Left, right, 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 left. I think yeah, John actually does become a pretty good rancher. Because he does own one by the end of Red Dead 1, and he was actually doing a pretty good job with it. If I remember correctly.
Months later? Damn. I he actually did it. <sighs> but that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. <sighs> thank you, Mr. Dickens. Few months, huh? I mean, how many times have I protected this goddamn place already, right? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the <laughs> subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget <laughs> all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. All right. He did it. Look at that. Look at that. Booyah. Oh, yeah. You need a tiny bit of a shave, but... So where are we going first? Finally back out on the road. Uh, she's at Blackwater, right? Ansel? Lady Sadie Atler. Uh, let's go to Sadie first, I guess. I want to see what she's up to. Cruel, cruel world, must I go? Back out on the road. Cruel, cruel world, <laughs> I'm moving on. Is that a stranger mission? Easy. Hi. Um. Hi. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? 
Oh Shall my I god. Throw him off? This is getting quiet on a hand. Hands. Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please? Sir, we need a hand. Oh, brother. You uh gentlemen enjoying the great outdoors? No. He's still a lizard. Coward. Gerbil. Mommy's boy. Manatee. Effluentous. Charge. Milk. Sop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with. Stable. I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel and so shall i just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean you homunculus john please come do the honors and make sure we um uh... oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man follow me follow you i was born first helen i love you and brother you're living proof of that <laughs> remarkable why is john helping them Why am I doing this? Good luck! <laughs> you crazy bastards. Oh my lord! The fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Uh, come on. They're Let's fine. Go try and find them. Oh god, hilarious. We must at one. Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. Alright, come on. Acrisius! <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Brother, are you there? Acri! Huh? Is that you? <laughs> I've yeah. had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner! <laughs> It's a miracle we're alive. Silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You're an earth shaker. World. Conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But oh. I, I thought Web, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <laughs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. So long. Oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew. Positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it works. Good luck. <laughs> wow. So that was the completion of that side story, I guess. Let's oh go, my god. Back to Sadie, come on. Jesus. <laughs> and uh Stand a shaker. Alright, where the hell am I? Uh, alright, back to Valentine, I guess. Oh, it's so trippy being John Marston right now. I'm glad they let me keep Arthur's guns. I was gonna get pissed off with all that. But it's really cool. It's really cool that I'm John Marston now. Oh, God. It resembles Red Dead 1 in so many ways. Jesus. I like that the last level was called Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> also. Alright. Let's see what we got. Sadie. Oh my god. Please tell me I get to kill Micah. 
That means I still have a chance to kill him. Arthur didn't do it, but I still have a chance. Just like Jack avenged John in the I first game. I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. Get the there hell we out go. of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. Oh, my it's God. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Of course Jim I am. Jim Milton, that you? <laughs> Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Yep. Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> wow. And you? Yep. Oh, you know how it is. Bounties yeah, what are you? mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. No one's chasing you? Have you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Sort of. Oh, oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? All right, then. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Oh. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Yeah, we do. That's really far away. <laughs> Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Yes. Micah. Micah? Yes. I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. Yes. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. Exactly. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Oh, God. Thank God we get to kill Micah. I was about to get worried we weren't. Jesus. I knew it. They're, they're really playing the same uh, game plan as R Red Dead 1. Uh, Check the general store, I guess. Hey. Hi. I kind of worked here for Hi there. very shortly. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella, a New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. Damn it. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. All right, then. Wasted my goddamn time. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, I mean, this was the most obvious. <laughs> Just go to the inn. It's the only place you could be staying, anyway. Hi. You, uh, Question, not threatened. You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. Okay. I'm gonna pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, God. All right, this sh shouldn't be that hard, right? I think. Room number th three, he said. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, cigarette card. Sweet. I'll take that. All right, uh, room number... Mr. Kirk! Three. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. Okay, enough. 
Of course he ran. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, don't worry. Want him alive, got it. I've done this, well, technically Arthur's done this. I see him. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, crap. Alright, alright, here we go, here we go. Straight path, straight path. Oh! Here we go. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I got him. This is just the way it goes. Nice. And got ourselves a little piggy. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife. Uh huh. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Uh huh. How are you buried, sir? None of your yes. business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. Uh -huh. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Uh huh. This is persecution. That. Uh, no, not really. No, it's not. Just put him on my horse, okay? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make him happy to see I've got a boss. No, so I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. All right, cool. Um, auto save. Yeah, sure. Damn, seventy-eight percent. All right, that does that. Now, what the hell am I doing? Um, and solar throne. All right, I'm heading to Blackwater anyway, so let's get through that, I guess. All right, let's head over there. this that carriage was riding with dead people um um oh a bunch of arrows so indians Yeah. Damn, even the horse has been shot. Jesus. Okay. You're well, good girl now. They came from that direction. I'm avoiding that. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Yeah, sure, why not? Hanging out here looking to get friendly. Now get away from me. For the apprehension or death. All right. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. Stop! You lost? <laughs> you want this? No. You almost... Sorry, I thought you were, uh... thought you were someone else. Sorry. Okay, that's not him. Alright, where is this guy? Heard something. Heard something. Let's 
going on here? What's going on? Uh, okay. Capture it was green, dead, or alive. This one's still breathing. Oh, the better. Hold him. Please, please let me go. Oh, what do you think? Maybe I could save this guy before Shall he dies. Alright, let's do this. One. Two. Ah, there it is. To the pit with him. There it is. Is he alive? Ah, nope. Nope, he did. Yep, he did. Ah, damn it. Uh, oh, gonna rescue him. Sorry, man. I really tried. Alright, let's scan this guy. Maybe I should have tried to keep capture him alive. There he is. Ninety dollars, right? That man weren't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty Earth. business up there. I'll take it. You don't go after these bounties, I'm gonna have to. There's another poster gonna be up right quick. Come back for it. Uh, uh, okay. Sure. In the meantime... Alright, bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just sleep until it it's open, I guess. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Okay. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Okay, then. Yeah, that interest rate is gonna be murder, but... <laughs> Yeah, that interest rate is definitely going to be murder. So, where is that? Be Beecher's Hope? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, not that far. Alright, let's head on out there. Let's see this piece of 
crap place you want to buy, John. Ugh. This is it? This is it? Oh, John. John, John, John. Man, why don't we just rob one more bank and we could just... <laughs> and we could get something better than this. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is horrible. This place is, uh... Can I yeah, help you, friend? Um, yeah. Can I just lock on to you? Hi. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Um. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Oh, yeah. You guys made your decision. Real. And here you go. Come on. Pop your head out. Pop your head out. Come on. Come on, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Oh, really? Come on. You're a dead man. Am I? There it is. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. And that's what happens. Give money, give money. I'm not gonna give him any money. That's how I solve things, man. on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. All right, then. Mm-hmm. Jesus, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, it's a lot of stamping, Jesus. <laughs> now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me, they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Are you happy or I, don't, I can't tell? <laughs> well, it is you. Well, I never. Huh? I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Oh, Uncle. my God. Very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. <laughs> oh, bull crap. No, for real. 
<gasps> well, I'm trying. All these years? You ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Uncle Jesus. I remember before the last mission, Dutch said you ran away. All right. Let's go. Her Jack waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. Oh God. You okay? <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. All right. Yeah, the place don't look half bad. What? What did I just get there? Look at this fence, man. Jesus. All right. How bad, John? It's Apparently, me. I'm traveling to St. Dennis. Oh, God. Maybe not. Jesus. On second thought, maybe we should just do Uncle's mission first. I'm already here, so... Then I'll move out. Uncle? Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Uh -huh. If I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. <laughs> what is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. <laughs> you got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! <Ow>! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, God. oh, shit. Well, we got to go. We got to go to Saint Denis. Why? Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Oh, perfect. St. Dennis. Per oh, perfect. I was literally just g about to travel all the way over there. I, I would have been pissed, actually, if I would have gone and I had to come all the way back. Right. Here we are. Come on. Let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never yep. liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. Oh, great. How many people died here? All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slope. Of course. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slopes? Good day. All right, then. Look where you're going. Hey, look out. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord, Lord, I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met. He told me Charles Folks, was here. Of a surprise. <laughs> but not one of life's great master. mysteries. Turns and you out. are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Um... He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. <laughs> uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. Okay. I thought you were dead. Sure. 
Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ah, uh, bet against you? <laughs> um, uh, uh, sure, I'll bet on Charles. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for How much? you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. Come on, Charles. On left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. Oh God, please you win. win. by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Okay. Uh, focus on Shovel Ball now to cheer or boo. Oh God. Come on, come on, Charles. There we go. There we go, Charles. There we go, Charles. Come on, Charles. There we go. Mayweather him. Mayweather. Oh, oh, the Kodo hook. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. Yeah, so? so it goes. Here's your share, partner. Thanks! If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Okay. I got $40. Not bad. This Jesus. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So... What happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. Yep. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. Okay. He gave me a satchel with some of his things in it. Oh, that, that right. Journal? He always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Oh, wow. Good, man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. Jesus. That makes sense. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. <laughs> That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. 
I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Yeah. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. <laughs> Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Okay. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> I mean... You good? He's actually making so. some sense. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go I when you do. I think so. Oh, Jesus. There it is. There it is. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. <laughs> Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> oh. That was pretty easy. No, nah, but he had a point there. Um, I had to go. I really had to go. All right. Um, I guess we could. I think now's a good time to go to St. Dennis. Um, strawberry rig station. I think I can make it a rig station and take the train there down to St. Dennis, and then go to Blackwater or something like that. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Be back soon, guys.